Hey everybody, Magdalena the Rocks here, and today we are going to do another craft tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make hair flowers. Um, this is one that I started on because I got a new purple belly dance skirt, and so I need some new hair swag to match my skirt. I usually wear this one on the left side. So I'm going to make a smaller one that complements this one but doesn't actually match it completely so that I can wear it kind of tucked behind my right ear here. Um, so the first thing that I like to do when I am making hair flowers is trace a circle on just one of these little felt pads that you can get at any craft store for about 75 cents. And then I cut it out like so. Doesn't have to be perfect because your flowers are going to be um, going over the edge and, and hiding this part. So now I have a circle cut out and it's about the right size for behind my ear. Um, and then I'm going to take my handy dandy glue gun and all of these flowers that I have, you can see them. I got them at either the dollar store, Walmart, or Hobby Lobby. Um, I think Hobby Lobby has the best flowers, but I find that if you um, can get the lower quality flowers for the smaller buds and use Hobby Lobby flowers for the bigger buds, you can actually make a really cost-effective um, flower hair piece. And it looks great. You don't have to spend a million dollars on flowers. I also am always searching at garage sales or Goodwill to find those high quality flowers that you can use in your hair pieces. Um, so I'm gonna get to it using this one as an example. Um, I used feathers, flowers, and a little bit of jewelry. This is an old earring that I bought at a garage sale, a pair for like a dollar, and then I just decided to use it in one of my hair pieces. I think that I'm gonna start with the purple rose. This is a dollar store flower, you can tell because it's like falling apart. So I'm just gonna try to fix that real quick with a little bit of a glue. And then, um, yeah, that'll be the place that we start as far as building our little custom hair piece. So, I just, I let my imagination go wild when I'm crafting. I, I kind of really don't have any rhyme or reason. I just try to make things look pretty. And I know there's a lot of people that are like, no, there, there's like a certain um, scenario or a certain number of flowers that you need to use and there has to be balance. But I am just, I'm more a fly by the seat of my pants. I just throw it on there and try to make it look good. So right now we have this pretty, ooh. <laughs> like, Ever been caught in a spider web and you're just like, ah! Okay, well, we have glue all over the place. Okay. Not the first time that I've had uh, some sticky stuff on my hands. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, I'm just and putting the flower together. Beautiful little flower. And then, because I used feathers in this one, I'm gonna use this pheasant feather. So, yeah, the feather I used in the other hair piece, I'm using that in this one, so I'm gonna add that in. Kind of create a little aesthetic there. We're back, and as you can see, I have glued on these cute little flowers, this 
um, pheasant bat. So I'm going to try to emulate this one. So I'll need a, a white flower. And then i got to find the matching earring. So I'm going to just try to dump all of my... I know this is stressing some people out, but I just, I love it. <laughs> when you get to um, just be creative and messy, I love to make a huge mess. And then, of course, I oh, there it is. See, that really was the best way to find it quick. Um, I'm going to throw that on here, probably towards the bottom. Uh, yeah. So, and I think I'm going to... glue that on there. But first I am going to glue the jewelry on the bottom of this. And then we can overlap it with flowers and feathers. I'll be back with my um, latest creation in just a bit. I found this little bud just in um, my pile of flowers. As you can see, I have a ton of flowers that I've just collected from garage sales and Walmart and Michaels and Hobby Lobby, everywhere. And so I found this little bud in there and I think I'm going to glue it on right here. But I'm also playing around with the idea, I love feathers and I have a huge bag full of beautiful feathers. So I might glue the feather on and then bear with me here as I struggle. I am not a professional YouTube video person at all. I'm just trying to show you how to create a flower. Ooh, different purple. Like this light lilac purple. I'll have to find that. I know it's around here somewhere. So I think I'll add that in. Hey, I'm back. Okay, so after digging around in my flower stash, I found this uh, purple lilac, the lighter color that I was looking for. And this cute little bud, it's chartreuse and purple. And then I think I'm going to glue these on like so over the earring. Can you see it? So that it kind of hides the earring a little bit. And I just find that the more flowers that you have, the fuller look it gives and I just think it looks really nice. The aesthetic is very pleasing to have a very lush hair piece. All right. So the glue is drying, but this is kind of what it looks like. And so I will wear it on the right side, maybe behind my ear a little bit, or up here. It doesn't matter. I usually have like a long dreadfall going on and just having the hair flowers asymmetrical. Looks really nice on me. Some people like to have um, everything matchy-matchy. I'm more of a let's just coordinate kind of a belly dancer, but that is the final product. So, yeah, it really is all about creativity, getting your hands dirty, collecting flowers, using your glue gun. And like I said, all of this stuff, I get it at garage sales, super cheap. And just find ways to use it in your costuming. And it's winter here in Minnesota right now, so I am not doing a lot of shows. Um, so it's just the best time to update costume pieces, create new bras, create new belts, create new head pieces. And that's what I, I spend my Sunday afternoons doing. Like I said, I am not a professional YouTuber at all, so sorry for the mess. I know it probably stresses a lot of you guys out to watch me so loosely you see, but I'm just trying to be real and show you what I do and how easy it is to, to make these really cool hair pieces. You don't have to go and spend 70 bucks on Etsy. You can do it. You can totally make this on your own, get your creative juices flowing, 
spend an afternoon with yourself, have some fun, put on some belly dance music like I do, and just get down to it. I hope that I explain this well enough. If you have any questions, you know, leave it in the comment section, and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching, everybody. Again, I'm Magdalena Rocks. I'm a Minnesota-based belly dancer, and this is all thing belly dance, crafts, props, dancing. Um, maybe one of these days I'll get my shit together and actually put together like a combo video for you guys. All right, bye. Here's the finished product. You can see the bigger one that I do on the left and the smaller one that I just created. And again, they coordinate, but they don't match completely. And that's just how I roll.